Let's understand the concept of Macaulay duration. We know that a simple n-period coupon bond with face value f is essentially a series of cash flows with final cash flow occurring at the end of period n. Question is, what is the weighted average maturity of these cash flows? And the answer is provided by Macaulay duration. Macaulay duration is the weighted average term to maturity of a bond's cash flows. Let's take an example. Suppose that we have a bond with face value of $1,000. This bond pays semi-annual coupons with annual coupon rate of 8%. So that each coupon payment is 8% of the face value of 1000 divided by 2, which is the number of times the coupon is paid out in a year. And this equals $40. The maturity of this bond is in 2 years. And let's say the yield on this bond is 10% per annum with semi-annual compounding. Since the bond pays semi-annual coupons, given the time in years, the first coupon payment is made in half a year. The second coupon payment comes in a year's time. The third coupon payment is made in a year and a half. And the final coupon is paid out along with the face value of the bond at the end of year two. We know that each coupon payment is a $40, but the final cash flow includes the $40 coupon plus $1,000 of face value, which equals 1,040. We want to calculate the present value of these cash flows given the yield of 10% per annum with semi-annual compounding. So first cash flow of $40 is discounted at 10% with semi-annual compounding over a period of half a year. And this equals $38.09. Similarly, second cash flow of $40 is also discounted at 10% per annum with semi-annual compounding over a term of one year. And this equals $36.28. Discounting third cash flow of $40 at 10% per annum with semi-annual compounding over the time period of a year and a half gives us $34.55. And finally, discounting the final cash flow of $1,040 at 10% per annum with semi-annual compounding over time period of two years gives us $8.55. $0.61. Summing up these present values of cash flows gives us the current price of the bond of $964.53. Now let's calculate the weight of each cash flow, which is essentially the present value of each cash flow divided by the current price of the bond. So the weight of first cash flow is 38.09 divided by 964.53 which equals 0 0.0395. Similarly, the weight of the second cash flow is 0 0.0376. The weight of the third cash flow is 0 0.0358. And the weight of the final cash flow is 0 0.8871. These weights must sum up to 1. Finally, we will multiply the weight of each cash flow by the time when each cash flow is paid out. So for first cash flow, we will get 0 0.02. And we're rounding to second decimal place here. Similarly, for second cash flow, we get 0 0.04. For third, we get 0 0.05. And for fourth and final cash flow, we get 1.77. Summing these up, we get the weighted average term to maturity of 1.88 years.
So Macaulay duration of this bond is 1.88 years. Typically, bond traders use duration as a measure to approximate change in bond price due to change in interest rates. So in this example, if rates go up by 1%, bond price is expected to come down by 1.88%. But note that Macaulay duration is not the best measure of a bond's price sensitivity. We will see in another video that modified duration is a better measure to approximate price changes. Macaulay duration is better used to measure weighted average term to maturity of a bond's cash flows. It follows from this that if we have an N period, zero coupon bond, then the Macaulay duration of this bond denoted by D with a subscript MAC equals N. And that's because a zero coupon bond does not realize any cash flows until maturity. So the weighted average term to maturity of a zero coupon bond's cash flows is the maturity itself. So finally, we can generalize the argument as follows. If we have an N period bond with base value equal to F, an annual coupon rate equals to C, where coupon is paid M times a year, and yield to maturity of the bond, denoted by Y, is also compounded M times a year, then Macaulay duration of a bond equals 1 plus yield to maturity divided by M, and this term is in turn divided by the yield to maturity minus 1 plus the yield to maturity divided by M plus N over M times the annual coupon rate minus the yield to maturity, and this whole term is divided by the annual coupon rate times 1 plus the yield to maturity divided by M to the power N minus 1 plus the yield to maturity. So we have learned how to calculate Macaulay duration of a bond. If there are any questions or comments, please feel free to post. Thank you.